Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have an updated skincare routine. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I uploaded one about two years ago and those products definitely change. So let's jump right into it. So the first product that I'm using is this micellar cleansing water from CBS. I like this a lot because it's not too oily for my skin since I do have combination oily skin. And I do use this cotton round to apply it. So I just squeeze a little bit of that on the cotton round and then I just gently apply it to my face. If you guys didn't know, you can wash your face in the shower, think you're squeaky clean, and there will still be some dirt left over on your face. So this is kind of just making sure that I can get all that excess dirt out of my skin. And you'll also see that this is one of the only products that I do add on my forehead because my forehead is very sensitive and prone to breakouts. So I just like to apply it all over my face just to make sure to get all that excess dirt out of there. And now going in with my actual cleanser, I used the Borgese or Borghese, not sure how you pronounce it, cleanser that I actually received in the advent calendar this Christmas. Now I did just wet my face a little bit in the bathroom and I applied about a quarter size amount to my hand and I'm just rubbing that just to apply it to my face. Now it looks like I am applying pretty roughly but I'm using less pressure in my hands and just trying to make sure I get any of that excess dirt removed. Now since I'm not able to film in my bathroom right now, since I did just get out the shower, it makes my camera a little bit too foggy, I am just taking a wet towel just to remove all of that cleanser. And like your favorite beauty gurus always say, pat dry, never tug. Now it's time for my holy grail, my Curology ointment. This is a life changing ointment for my skin. It has changed everything about my skin. Mine is niacinamide 4%, acetamycin 1%, and azelaic acid 8%, which I don't think I pronounced any of those. But let's get real now. In August of 2017, my skin was the worst it could have ever been. And I have pictures to prove it. It was breaking out like crazy. I would drink water all the time. That wouldn't really help. It just keep me hydrated. I would just eat bad stuff and it would just keep breaking out. Yes, I did change my diet during this time, but it still got worse. But until August of 2018, when I started using Curology, about two weeks after using it, my skin has changed drastically no this is not sponsored but look at these photos and up until now it is just working amazing like i couldn't recommend anything more than this ointment so definitely go check yours out get a consultation right now on their website and let's jump back into my skincare routine so i just apply a little bit of that to my fingers and i apply it on my chin my nose my cheeks and my forehead yes this is the second and only other product that I use on my forehead because of course it's to help any acne breakouts and I just kind of rub this on my skin but not too much I still like to leave a little bit of that product left on the skin because I will go in and kind of pat it into the skin to make sure that it absorbs all the product.
after that, I'm gonna moisturize my face, but I like to wait about 10 minutes to make sure that the ointment is fully dry. And I go in with this Biosense 100% Squalene Oil. I love this oil and I love oils in general for using as a moisturizer on my face. I feel like sometimes cream moisturizers are a little bit too heavy, so I prefer oils because they're a little bit more light and this one kind of is like a dry oil. So I just rub that between my fingers and just pat it into my skin because the Curology ointment kind of creates like a film and if you rub it, it kind of like flakes off. I know that sounds kind of gross. So I prefer to just pat this oil into my skin to make sure it gets absorbed but also not rubbing off that that Curology ointment. Now for under eyes, I use this autocorrect cream contour by Sunday Riley and it's basically a brightening and depuffing eye contour cream. I got this also in advent calendar this Christmas and it's actually working pretty well. I feel like my under eyes have become a little bit more brighter and a little bit more hydrated. Um, I just go in and I just pat this with my finger, of course, no tugging, and it just really makes my eyes look very moisturized and very plump. And I usually like to use this, especially before I put on makeup because it just hydrates the under eye. And next for lips, I use the Glossier Balm.com Universal Skin Solve. Now I love this. I recently did just get it, but it is so soothing and not sticky on your lips at all. I hate sticky lip balm and lip glosses, and I love using this all times of the day. Not just at night and not just in the morning during my skincare routine. So it's a very great lip balm. You should definitely check it out. They have a ton of other flavors and scents. So guys, that is my updated skincare routine. Hope you guys enjoyed. Of course, all these products won't work for everyone because everyone does have different skin types. But hopefully you can incorporate some of them into your skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.